Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund. And I'm Christina Musser. And we're filming on location at Spotlight Ballroom in West Sacramento, California. Today, we're talking about three awesome elements about this dress. One is that Christina designed this herself. Two, we're gonna talk about the really gorgeous rhinestone focal point. And three, how to add to a high cut skirt without making it look like it's added. It's so like a pro time and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter and make the dance sport, country and skate dress of your dreams. So today we've got Christina with us and tell me about how, what was your design inspiration? It's been a while, you wanted to look taller. I wanted to look taller and um, especially at the time I was very modest and so I was trying to compete, you know, as a pro, but I still wanted a little bit more coverage, but I didn't want it to look frumpy. So that was kind of the um, inspiration for the dress. And I, I think those are kind of key words because a lot of people want to look sexy without showing a lot of skin. They want to be covered without looking matronly or frumpy. And I think you certainly achieved this. You have full coverage, all the, all the girls, everything is covered. You have a great focal point here. Let's just um, start with the focal point, really, because it is very lengthening. And so that was an excellent design choice for yourself. Part of what makes this work is that there's a collar that goes all the way up. So it draws the viewer's eye up to the neck. This verticality ties in with the chest. And then she's got this long columnar skirt, which adds further height. So really well done on that. I don't know if you... <laughs> You just got lucky? I, I, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, then she got lucky. Sometimes you win, right? Now, tell me a little bit about how the diamond shapes on your necklace were made. Those are really fascinating. Thank you. Um, so basically, the I had it, I designed it, and I, um, I used one of those. It was when I was first starting out, so I didn't have a lot of money. So I, um, I went to uh, a, like a Hong Kong website where they make a dress for you in Hong Kong. So it only costs, you know, like a couple hundred dollars instead of a couple thousand dollars. And, um, so it originally has, it has an underneath all this, it has a diamond pattern to it. I liked the diamond pattern, but I didn't love it. And actually the reason that I had to change it is because it was too long for my neck. Oh, so I right. had to actually cut a diamond at some point and mm -hmm. that, kind of threw the whole sequencing of it off. And so this rhinestoning and the little findings underneath it are basically to cover that aspect of it. Well, it works. You did a really great job. I, I would not actually have guessed, but that is the problem with buying ready-made items versus custom-made items because it wasn't actually made for her measurement from, you know, like the bra up to her neck. So now you were you were saying as we were talking behind the scenes here that when you try to do anything where you're collapsing, like if I go like this, I I chose some findings that are act that are a little bit pointy so they can dig in a little bit. But I actually I think I got rid of there were a couple extra ones. I got rid of the ones that were actually really problematic. So it's only if I curl up in a very tiny ball. Now okay, that it's right. an issue. <laughs> That's good. And and if you do find that you have a necklace that is a little bit too long and it wants to stand away from your skin, you could come in with spirit. Uh, what is it? Spirit gum. Actors yeah. and actresses use it mm -hmm. for beards and mascara or beards and facial hair, things like that. Mm -hmm. You could actually glue it to your skin. I think eyelash glue would probably not be strong enough. And um, I know sometimes that like in my sewing school, the members have been saying, oh, we'll use silicone caulk on the back of oh, yes, items to that. stop them from sliding around. Yeah. And since it's covered with rhinestones, that would certainly help it. So if you do find that yours is a little bit too long and doesn't just fit perfectly, and or you don't want to mutilate yours. <laughs> But yeah, but I mean, it's great. I would not actually have guessed that that was why you had sort of these random items. I just thought it was a nice diversity. Yeah. So well done there. Yeah. Now the columnar skirt on this, I like a lot. There's actually quite a bit of volume here. There's a really big panel. So even though it, each circle is probably quarter of a circle, maybe even three eighths of a circle for both the front and the back. I think this is really fun. You could actually use this for a pasta doble. You've got enough skirt here. 
And when since you do a lot of pro am things, it's nice to have versatility. If you did not have this big of a skirt, you could of course add a slit in here if you wanted to. Go ahead and turn towards the back, please, ma'am. And the wide open back, I think that she's got really beautiful skin. I think this is lovely. Keep going. The straightness of this, I like a lot. Long sleeves are always good, of course. And then lastly, let's talk about how to add to the skirt for when you accidentally cut it too short. <laughs> so in this case, do you have any more fabric? I don't. Okay, then I'll give you two options. One, if you have fabric, and two, if you don't have fabric. The easiest thing to do, since you do not have fabric, is to make some more diamonds, or to take some of these little curly Q pieces here and attach them to you know, a piece of fabric, you just need a few inches or a few centimeters, and it would literally fade from a skinny one, it would get wider with stones, and then fade back in. And that would cover the part of your thigh that feels too exposed, and it would give you secondary bling. Now, it's possible that you might have to come in, it might be totally fine like that, mm -hmm. or you might have to give yourself a gold bracelet on the other side mm -hmm. to balance it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think that would be fabulous and it would tie, it would give you more of an element that you already like. The other option, if you are making the dress from scratch or happen to have extra fabric, is to come in with just a tiny little ruffle. And I don't want to say ruffle because then you think big and poofy, but if you turn sideways and you'll turn a little bit more, and you see how there's all this extra fabric over here? We could technically use some of this fabric if we, if we really wanted to. But you see how it kind of hangs in itself and creates a little bit of curl? If we take this idea of how the skirt hangs and stitch a ruffle about the time it starts flaring down and it would add a little bit of curl mm -hmm. hanging however low you want and then fade back in. So then that would give you just a little bit of element. It would give you a little bit of swooshing at the hips and it would, again, cover the thigh. So. It's probably equally difficult or not difficult, depending on whether you know how to sew. If you don't know how to sew, do the rhinestoning option. <laughs> if you don't have fabric, do the rhinestoning option for real. But I think that's two great choices for you to go from. And it would also give your dress a new feel because you've worn it quite a lot. And it would just, you know, give it a totally new, a new look. So that's, this is one of your most favorite dresses you say. And yeah. most comfortable? Yeah, it's super comfortable and again, makes me feel tall. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, because we're not tall, really. <laughs> Any little bit we can help. All right, well, thank you so much thank for being you. here, Christina. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address. I'll make sure you get my newsletters that include extra dressmaker tips that might not be in the videos or might not be on video at all. Sometimes I just do written ones. Subscribe if you are watching this on a video channel. And I think that's all. So thanks so much for joining us and I'll talk to you again another time. All right, it is... Recording. Design it yourself how to um, cover leg and rhinestone focal point. Okay. Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund and... I'm Christina Musser. And we are filming on location in... <laughs> I think we can do that first and then cover the three topics. My brain went, oh no, I'm supposed to do the free three topics. Gotcha. Okay. Yes.